In this video, I'll show you how to integrate by parts. This is part one of the series. To be successful in this, you'll need to memorize the following. And you'll need to keep in mind that if you choose the wrong U, you'll end up with an antiderivative that is harder than the original. And in the video prior to this, we discussed how to choose the correct U and DV. Let's jump right into question number one to see how to integrate by parts. Here we're asked to integrate x times sine x dx. And the first thing that you'll need to do is assign your u and your dv. And we learned that the best way to assign your u is to assign it in this order, where logs get more priority than inverse trig, and inverse trig gets more priority than algebra, algebra gets more priority than trigonometric functions, and exponential get the least priority of them all. So in our case here, this is algebra, and this is trigonometry. So the u that we'll assign is x. Your dv will be assigned to sine x dx. So essentially this right here is your dv, and this right here is your u. So let's go ahead and find the derivative of both sides here. And we end up with du is equal to, the derivative of x is 1, dx. So therefore, du over dx is essentially equal to 1. Now down here, we're going to take the integral. So remember, another way to write this is dv over dx is equal to sine x. And the integral of sine x is equal to negative cosine x. And negative cosine x is equal to v. So as I said earlier, to be successful, you'll need to memorize the following. So let's write that down. And we're going to substitute everything that we know into here. So we know what, what u is equal to. u is equal to x. We also know what v is equal to. It's negative cosine. And now as I put the negative at the front, you can do that because you're multiplying them. Minus the integral of negative cosine x. And our du was equal to dx. So we're going to place dx right here. The next thing, I'll cancel out these two negatives where I end up with, I'm just going to write it down here, negative x cosine x plus the integral of cosine x. Now if you recall, the integral of cosine x is sine x. So we're going to put plus sine x plus c. There you have it. That right there is the integral of this function. Let's move on to question two. In question two, they're asking us to integrate x to the power of 7 ln x. Now, which gets the u and which gets the v? This right here is a log function, and this right here is an algebraic function. Logs get more priority than algebra, so your u will be ln x, and your dv will be x to the power of 7 dx. So we're going to find the derivative of ln x, and recall that the derivative of ln x from a video long, long ago is equal to 1 over x times the derivative of that. Now, we're going to write down 1 over x, du, and the derivative of x is 1, so we're just going to leave it the way it is, dx. So we found our du. And now we're going to find the integral of this. Remember, this is the same thing as saying dv over dx, x to the power of 7. The integral of x to the power of 7 is x to the power of 8 over 8. And this right here will equal to your v. Now let's sub substitute everything that we know into the following. So u times v. u was equal to ln x times v x to the power of 8 over 8 minus the integral of v du. v was right there, x to the power of 8 over 8, and du was 1 over x dx. So you'll notice something special, that these x's will cancel out, or at least one of them up here. And you can pull out that 8, it's not necessary over there. So I'm just going to write this out, over 8 minus, I'm pulling that out that 1 over 8, x to the power of 7 dx, and I'm going to integrate x to the power of 7. We know what that is. We did it up here already. So we end up with ln x 
times x to the power of 8 over 8 minus 1 over 64 x to the power of 8 plus c. Now, if you're curious as to how I got 1 over 64, remember that the integral of x to the power of 7, as we did up here, was x to the power of 8 over 8. And so what I did is I just took this 8 and this 8, multiplied them, and I got 64. So there you have it. Part 1 of how to integrate by parts. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.